Alright, hello everyone and welcome to my Final Fantasy video. We are going to start off uh, doing the Wings of the Goddess, I think it is, uh, mission line so we can continue our uh, Rhapsodies of Anadil in the future, because I need to get to the Scandling Rhapsody um, for something I have planned in the future, which is to unlock Oboro, and it'll make it so I can get the 119 uh, weapon stuff for the Relic, Imperium, and Mythic um, uh, weapons. So I need that Scandling Key item, which is at the end of the Rhapsodies of Anadil. And also the Rhapsodies of Anadil give much better uh, creatures to farm. Uh, so yeah, we're going to start off by talking to the... where'd she go? Or he... I gotta find, I think, Adelheid or something. Could have swore he was in this area. Uh, I don't see him. Alright. Uh, give me one second. Okay, so it's not uh, Adelheid or anything like that. You have to talk to this Adel... Adelbrech? I think that's how you pronounce his name. So, we talk to him, we'll get a cutscene, and then we have to go and make our way to uh, LDM Necropolis. And we'll have to talk to Turbulent Storm, I think his name is. Should be a Gal Galka, which will give us a key item for Blue Recommendation Letter. And then that'll let us continue through the, uh, the Wings of the Goddess. So I'll make my way there real quick. Um, if you have done a previous, uh, I forget what they call it, if you've done this quest type thing where you got the recommendation letter uh, for Bastok before, you don't have to do it again, obviously. So when you come into this area, I think I might have a map of this. Yeah, okay. So up here, you'll enter from North Gustaberg. You just want to grab the survival guide right inside to the right. Um, from entering from North Gustaberg into here. And then you can teleport here at will from pretty much anywhere. I'll show you where it is real quick, just in case you're looking for it. So that gate right there is the exit to North Gustaberg. Then just right here to the left of it is the survival guide and the hunt registry. Also the person who gives you uh, allied signet. Oh, not, not Signet. I forget what it's called. Sigil, maybe? I don't know. But you get it from there. You can also purchase items from them. But I don't have uh, allied notes right now, so I have to go and get uh, enlisted. So I'll do that. Alright, so in LDM, ne or not LDM Necropolis, Petalia Downs, there's the book up here where the Maw is at. So if you run south, kind of southwest from there. Um, you come down here, and right there about there where I have the marker at is the entrance to the place you have to go for LDM Necropolis. Then you'll end up in here. Right over there is the entrance where the survival guide is. So if you already have the survival guide here, you can teleport straight here, run down the, the tomb, cave, whatever you want to call it. And talk to him, and you should get blue recommendation letter. He's at J9, uh, J9 in LDM Necropolis. And then after you do this, you'll have to uh, head back to Bastok Markets in the past. And you'll have to talk to that Adelbert Birch guy again, and you should get uh, some battle rations. Um, if a campaign battle is active, you will have to wait for it to end, or possibly even attack them, uh, before you can talk to Adelbirch again. We just got the battle rations from Adelbirch here, and then he said uh, we need to go and talk to somebody in North Gustaberg in the past, and I forgot what his name was. Uh, Geb Gebhardt? at the watchtower at I-6. So let's run over there. So in order to get up here, you have to go to about I-8 
on the southwestern side of this hill here. Then you just go up the ramp, and then you head up here to this tower on the uh, the northern part of the first uh, floor of the mountain. You talk to this Gerd Hart here, and he should give you uh, more instructions. And then you have to go and talk to uh, Ro Ro Roderich, I think is how you pronounce it. And then you'll uh, find him at E11 at another watchtower, northeast corner of E11. So let's go talk to him real quick. Here's uh, Roderich, uh, or Roderich, sorry, at E11, all the way down here where the normal entrance to South Gustafsburg would be, standing on the southern part of the tower. You should get a cutscene from this person. And then after this, we have to go to the barricade at E7. Uh, it's located where the normal zone to Konstadt would be. So let's head up there. After getting that cutscene with the Kadov and the Galka um, at the barricade at E7, teleport back to your home point if you set it as uh, Best Oak Markets in the past. Then we just gotta go talk to Alderhatch, or however you pronounce his name. This guy that we talked to are here to start the quests. And then we should finish this quest. So, uh, get a cutscene from this guy real quick, and that, that will complete the quest, and we'll start the next one. Alright, so for the next quest we have to do, uh, we have to zone into North Gustaberg in the past, from Bastok Markets in the past, in order to start the quest, and then uh, Wolfram will ask you to get a clump of animal hair to a man named Engelhart, and return to Bastok Markets in the past, and talk to Engelhart at K10, the music shop is located in the present. And then we'll continue from there. But I gotta go farm up a no claw. Because I'm not paying 50k for it. Alright, we have ducked this uh, Engelhart guy here. Right, right by the uh, musician's store. Or where it would be in the present. After you talk to him, I'll have to go to the waterfall thing. Over by the Concha Highlands entrance. In North Gustaberg. I think it's at F8. So make your way over there and click the question marks. I will show you where it is once I get there. Also the quickest way to get there, as long as you've been grabbing the books, or survival guides I guess, is to take the survival guide from Best Oak Markets in the past uh, to North Gustaberg's um, survival guide. That should put you pretty much right near Konstant Highlands area. And you just run from the waterfall. Or, I mean, run to the waterfall, not from the waterfall. So on the northeastern corner of F7, yeah, F7, or F8, sorry. Uh, right here, where, where the question marks go? Right there. So you just head around the southern part of the mountain, or the river, sorry. So you'll come across from right over there, is where the uh, book is. Just come down, cross the bridge, and then head to the east. And right against this wall, you'll get the triple question marks, and you'll get a cutscene. After this, we have to make sure we have a no claw, and then we will go to the Vunkerl Inlet in the past, and we will have to find, I think, a goblin, if I'm not mistaken. So if you're coming from Battalia Downs, uh, you can enter Jugnar Forest from Battalia Downs. Then you go and hug the left wall until you zone into uh, Vunkerl Inlet. Then once you get into the inlet, uh, you just head southeast past two places. Um, I don't have the map, otherwise I'd show you. Um, so you just go southeast, and then you'll come up to a bridge at some point. Then you just cross the bridge, and then you head east. And then at I-6, I believe it is, the uh, goblin should be at a little aisle-like thing, which I will show you once I get there. I should almost be there. I think it's through this gate up here. Yep, it's right at this gate, at I-6. Just talk to this person, they'll ask for a no claw, 
and you'll get a cutscene. I'll skip the cutscene real quick. Well, that was like a, a four sentence dialogue cutscene. Took like five seconds. Trade the no claw and you should get your key item. Get another miniature cutscene, I guess. Another like five sentence dialogue cutscene. After you get that key item from the goblin, then you head back to Angleheart and uh, you will finish this quest. You should get a warning letter from him. So, once you get the warning letter key item, then that should be the end of this quest. In case anybody wanted the survival guide for uh, Bunk Girl Inlet, it's at E7. Um, once again, I don't have the map, so I can't really show you. But it's just right over this way to the west would be the exit to Chugner. Um, and you just get it right here. So, pretty, pretty cool. If you just come pretty much northwest of the uh, outpost-like thing here, where the campaign battle normally is, you can just run up here and grab it. It's a pretty short walk away. Anyway, see you guys in a sec. After you've talked to uh, Engelhart in Bastok Markets S to complete the better than better parts of Valor, I think it was. Uh, then you have to zone, and then talk to him again after a game day has passed. Yeah, better part of Valor. And then you'll get a cutscene that'll put you on to the next mission. Uh, fires of discontent. Discontent. Uh, so then after that, he will tell you to go and talk to Hagdaku at H9 in Bastok Markets S. And then after that, we have to go to the present time and talk to Iron Eater at J8 in the Metalworks. Or, sorry, in front of the Metalworks. Yeah, I'll learn how to read. We gotta go to the Metalworks after that. So there's... Uh, Pagdaku, which is literally just not very far from the musician's house. Just go east. Or sorry, west. Yeah, I'm like Patrick. You said east! No, I said east. So take the home point number one to the Bastokes uh, Metalworks. Then you just run up here to, to the president's office, I think it is. And you gotta make sure he gives you the dialogue for uh, the current quest that you're on, which is this one. Let's talk about uh, sword play with Weary, I think his name is. And then after that, then we have to head back to the Bastok Markets S and talk to Angleheart again. He will not be present uh, if the campaign battle is there, so just keep that in mind. So after talking to Engelhart, he'll send you off to uh, Grauberg S, where you have to go to I-6, inside a cave in the northwestern corner. And there's a question mark. You click that, you'll get a cutscene, but be careful. There are chi uh, Chigos, Chigos, I don't know how to pronounce them. Little flea-looking creatures, and they will aggro you. So yeah, just be very careful with those. So he's sneaking in biz, you should be fine. So if you had the uh, survival guide, you could teleport right out there. It'll bring you to L4. And then you just run around to I6. But if you don't, you could teleport to the Grauberg thing via your teleport person. Um, it should bring you to the, the gun tower, I think it's called. And then you just run, I think, west and then north. And then just keep going northeast. It should bring you to I6. If I have the map, I'll show you. But I probably don't. Drats, I don't have the map. I'll have to buy all these maps again. So after you get that cutscene in the uh, the cave there at I6, you want to head back to Bastok Markets and talk to Engelhart. And then after that, we will continue from there. So after you talk to Engelhart, you have to come over here to Gentle Tiger who would be at the entrance to the Metalworks in the past. And then talk to him, you'll get a cutscene. So if you're on the artifact quest for Scholar called On Sabbatical, you'll be unable to continue 
with this quest until you complete the artifact quest. But after you talk to him and get the cutscene, uh, you gotta go back and talk to Angleheart for your last cutscene for this quest, and that'll give you your 10,000 gil. Alright, so after you've talked to Angleheart and gotten your reward, you have to go to uh, the Kate Sith mission, which is next. So if you like this mission, you have to go to one of the maws outside of Juno. Um, so I'm just going to go to the, uh, the Talia Downs one. And then after that, we have to start the next quest. Okie dokie. So after you've uh, talked to Kate Sith in the cutscene via the maw, which I went to the Talia Downs one, you'll have to go and talk to Gentle Tiger again at H6, and uh, yeah, well, we should get a cutscene, and then we'll have to talk to Pagdaku. So it seems like I gotta wait until the next game day, so I gotta wait about two game hours until the next game day, so I will be right here. After talking to Pagdaku at H9 in Bastok Markets, uh, we have to head to F8 and talk to Latherix, which is the goblin. Should be right up here near the teleport person, right in front of those cannons there. Should be. Yep. Here we go. Talk to that person. You either have to trade them 30 chunks of goblin chocolate or 5,000 gil. I'm assuming the 5,000 gil would be cheaper in order for them to talk to you. Um, once you do trade them one of those, you'll get a key item called a uh, mineshaft key. 5,000 gil, should get a mineshaft key, uh, key item, then we have to enter Pashra Marshlands from Grauberg S for a cutscene, and uh, the quickest way is to take the survival guide from Grauberg, it puts you right outside of Pashra Marshlands. After you get that cutscene in Pashra Marshlands S, uh, what you want to do is you want to head back into Grauberg, and then you teleport to Rollenberry Fields. Uh, field manual, or not field manual, survival guide, from Grabber Guess, and it'll put you closer to where we have to go, which is F5 uh, in Pashra Marshlands S. We have to find the corroded door to enter the next battlefield area, where we have to do a fight. So I'll see you guys once I get to the door. Here we are in the northwestern part of Pashra Marshlands, over near the Hawk. Oaks Mar Marsh, uh, north, not north, sorry, southwest corner of E F five. Get my numbers mixed up again. You trade the key item to the door by just clicking on it, and you'll have to enter light in the darkness. So this can be soloed by I think seventy five and up. So you could do it at, at seventy five, I guess. This is what it says. So you'll have to kill at least seven Kadovs. There's nine Saffron Kadovs and one Sapphire Kadov. If you kill the Sapphire Kadov, um, all the other ones will just like scatter as if they were using Flea and running around. The Sapphire Kadov has about 2000 HP. And uh, I'm guessing the Saffron ones have less. So. But. If you're lower level, you might want to try and pull these one by one. If you're 99 or higher, like 99 or item level, then this should be very much like fighting incredibly easy prey. But I'm going to slaughter them real quick, and I will see you guys in a second. So after you finish this, you'll have to go and talk to Gentle Tiger. And that'll finish this quest off. So in case you guys are wondering, also, all these things have true hearing, so... Just be careful of that. So you'll spawn in right in the middle of all of them, right where those uh, planks are. And then if you move forward to the right or to the left, they will probably aggro you. But if you walk backwards behind that rock or that shed there, then you'll be fine. They, they uh, shouldn't go that far. But I just stood where I spawned in at and just summoned my truss. So during this cutscene, after talking to Gentle Giant, or Gentle Tiger, um, you'll have to pick the three correct answers, which is 
the ventilation shaft, the senator did not light the lantern, and the senator was distracted. After getting the cutscene there, when you're talking about who the uh, person was that killed the uh, the guy in, in the metalworks, you have to zone and then come back and talk to the gentle tiger guy. And uh, yeah, you must wait a Japanese, uh, not Japanese, but sorry. You must wait a game day before you can start the next quest after finishing the light and the darkness. So I gotta wait like 30 minutes, I think, or 20 minutes, somewhere on there. After you get the cutscene after zoning and waiting a game day, by talking to uh, Gentle Tiger, you have to make your way to Angleheart. And then after that, we have to head to LDM Necropolis. Um, I think it's the same location that we went to before, which is on the southeastern part of the Talia Downs, but I will find out once I get there. So when you enter LDM Necropolis, you can take the, um, the survival guide. I don't remember what the book was called. Take that and you head down to the southern, uh, the southern room in the first map. Should be G9, I believe. And drop into the middle pit. And then after that, you head east. You'll come to another map. And then you follow that to I7. Yeah, I7 on the northern, northern room. And you click on the sarcophagus on the eastern side of that room and you'll get another cutscene. And then after this, we have to head back to the Gentle Tiger guy, and we'll get another cutscene, I believe. After you uh, talk to Gentle Tiger and get the cut that cutscene there, that'll finish off that uh, quest. But you, in order to get your reward, you have to talk to Blatherix, the goblin over here by what would normally be the auction house in Bastok Markets. And you should get an elixir. Um, you'll need to use, either need to save this uh, for the future quests, or have to buy another one in the future. Um, but anyway, I think that's the end of this mission. And uh, we still have a couple missions left, but I feel like this video is getting a little long, so I'm just gonna end it here. We have uh, three more. Three or more missions, I think they are. And then we have a battlefield, and then we can continue with the Rhapsodies of Venadil. But I'm going to end it here, and we will finish these when we do the Rhapsodies of Venadil missions in the next episode. But hopefully you guys are enjoying. I'm working up towards getting the Abyssia stuff started. Um, next, next video I should have my Warrior to 99 and have all the hopefully all the weapons for it to be close to where I can use them efficiently. So that way I can proc all the reds to get the key items and spawn the zone bosses and so forth. But anyway, hopefully you guys enjoyed and I will see you in the next one. Peace!